Before we go into how to write a quadratic equation using a table, let's examine this table carefully. Note the symmetry. When x equals negative 5, y equals 7. Then over here, when x equals 3, y equals 7. When x equals negative 4, y equals 0. When x equals 2, y equals 0. When x equals negative 3, y equals negative 5. And when x equals 1, y equals negative 5. When x equals negative 2, y equals negative 8. When x equals 0, y equals negative 8. Brings us right to the middle. This is the vertex of the parabola, where x equals negative 1, y equals negative 9. So this is the low point, or vertex, of this parabola. Note the nice symmetry. Another point we can see is where x equals 0, y equals negative 8. This is the y-intercept of the parabola. So this parabola will cross the y-axis at x equals, at y equals negative 8, excuse me, will cross the, will cross the y-axis at negative 8. Now, what about the x-intercepts? These are the points where y equals 0. And they are the roots of this parabola. Let's circle the roots of this parabola. Okay, I have to select the pen again. So here's one of the roots, x equals negative 4, y equals 0. And the other one is where x equals 2, y equals 0. So our first root is, is when y equals 0, x equals negative 4. And our second root is when y equals 0, x equals negative 2. So using the zero product property and working backwards, we now know that we can make this equation where zero equals x plus four times x minus two. Because if I plug in negative four in for x, negative four plus four equals zero. So according to the zero product property, that would be one of the solutions, x equals negative four according to our table. And the other solution would be x equals 2 because 2 minus 2 is 0. So using the zero product property, I can write the equation setting it equal to 0. Therefore, the quadratic equation shown in this table must be y equals x plus 4 times x minus 2. So I can find any value that works for this equation, not just when it equals 0, but I can find any value, of course you should check your rule to make sure it works. Plug in some of the values for x, like try x equals negative 5, and make sure that you get the value shown for y. Make sure that you get y equals 7 when x equals negative 5, and so on. So check a couple values from your table to make sure it works. Thanks for listening. Bye.